We've seen a clear double standard on social media when it comes to enforcement of the rules. Because if you're part of one side of the political aisle, if you're the approved narrative, you can pretty much do anything or say anything you want. And there are no issues with it. But if you don't have the approved narrative, if you step outside the bubble, even if you're not a conservative, maybe if you're someone who is an SJW, is a far leftist, whatever, but you just have one opinion that doesn't align, you are no longer protected by this social media oligarchy. J.K. Rowling is finding that out once again. J.K. Rowling targeted by apparent pipe bomb threat from trans flag social media account. When you let these people, when you let these freaks with pronouns in their bios, these literal fucking lunatics, when you let them just run wild and do whatever they want and dehumanize people however you want and you don't apply the, the same rules that you would to anybody else, if I say something mean on social media, I get banned immediately. But people like this, are allowed to put literal threats up there, you know something is completely wrong. But this is what happens when you have all of social media controlled by people that believe the exact same things and will tolerate nothing else. A social media post by an account with a transgender flag in its name appeared to threaten or encourage the bombing of transcritical author J.K. Rowling's home has generated significant outcry online. And I would say J.K. Rowling supports transgender people. She simply does not acknowledge them as biological women and says there are differences. That's it. Uh, but that is too much for some people to handle. Outcry and calls for police intervention have emerged after transcritical author J.K. Rowling appeared to be threatened with a transgender flag. And here it is right here. Shane. Uh, fuck Fingal, I guess, with the trans flag right here. My family's address covered, so which she blotted out, a pipe bomb and a picture of a bomb-making handbook. The account remains active naturally. Hashtag be kind. Now, I don't, who's to know if this person had any actual intent to do this or intent to actually cause violence, but the very fact that they can put this out there, that they can, they can put a picture, that they can put a picture of a pipe bomb of J.K. Rowling's face, put her address out there. And then follow it up with the link, not the link, but a picture to what you could Google search very easily to find an IED handbook is disgusting behavior. And it comes on the heels of Warner Brothers standing by J.K. Rowling. Warner Brothers, who has made very questionable decisions with who they decide to stand behind, firing Johnny Depp, but sticking with Ezra Miller and Amber Heard, they are actually standing by J.K. Rowling. Now, Tom Felton was doing an interview where he kind of refused to answer a question that they had addressed to him about J.K. Rowling. Warner Brothers followed up and made something very clear. Warner Brothers has enjoyed a creative, productive, and fulfilling partnership with J.K. Rowling for the past 20 years. She's one of the world's most accomplished storytellers, and we're proud to be the studio to bring her vision, characters, and stories to life now and for decades to come. On Monday, a statement was issued by a third-party media agency that appeared contrary to this view. The statement was wholly wrong, and Warner Brothers Studio Tour London regrets it happens as part of a media event that day. Pretty powerful statement standing behind J.K. Rowling, not just for what they've done with her in the past, but making it very clear what they intend to do with her in the future. This is one of the reasons that these people probably got so upset because this was tweeted out on July 1st. What an absolute disgusting individual to do this. But the very same people that the, the extreme far left has been pandering to, the exact same people that Disney and Marvel and Warner Brothers to a certain extent had been pandering to to try to watch their movies, these are the people that are encouraging violence against someone like J.K. Rowling simply because she has one opinion that doesn't align with theirs. Thanks for watching everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.